Hello and welcome to day 60 of the Mindfulness Challenge. Today we're going to talk about envy. Hello and welcome to day 60 of the Coronavirus Mindfulness Challenge. We've been doing this now for 60 days. That's quite mind blowing really when you think about it, isn't it? Um, we've got 40, 40 to go. I think, again, you know, sometimes with these things, it, the need to um, rest and reflect. And we're going to be talking about envy and the ability to celebrate others through loving kindness today. But, you know, the discipline of doing 60 days has been phenomenal. And, you know, we look at we look at each day as each day, don't we? We sort of we, we sort of micro analyze our lives hour by hour, minute by minute, day by day. But when you look at the macro picture, which is the much bigger picture of this over sixty days, how our lives have changed behind us. Because you see, in front of us, we're always sort of striving and searching and you know and and when I teach um spirituality or spiritualism, one of the big one of the biggest uh, killers of development really is is ambition. And ambition is an expectation, is generally set not by themselves, not p by people with themselves, but ambition is ex expectation, is set by somebody else's success. So when you start out doing something, and we'll simplify it. When you start out going to the gym, you want a body to look like that person. And when you start doing a diet, you want to lose weight because of that. Or you're doing something because of this. What about yourself? And I'm, you know, I need to practice what I preach. But how about how about you doing stuff for you and and not being envious of other people of what they've got and how they've done it you know i'm going to start a business because you know I, I want i want i want to make lots of money because have you seen the car that steve's driving have you seen the house now that sheila's just bought god and they've just started from nothing and if i grow my business i can be like them i'm going to just do that every single day but 60 days when we look at our lives um, behind us because as i said the forward is ambition an expectation that we want to do something to achieve something to be something so we can be like somebody else well what about doing something and 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 expecting something and having an ambition to be yourself what about you doing something today that is actually going to allow you to be yourself tomorrow and in many ways i'm not sitting here on a sort of on a on a soapbox or in an ivory tower. And I've got lots of work to do, Jesus. You know, I'm, we're all students. None of us are, are masters or teachers, really. And we're all learning every day. But I've given up so much before the virus and during the virus to try and get me in this position whereby I can live a spiritual life and help others. And my mantra of being you know, helping you to help yourself live a happy, balanced, healthy spiritual life with clarity and purpose is my drive. And I want to be able to do that every day and have the ability to be able to do it. Because obviously there's financial constraints, there's family constraints, there's housing constraints. You know, we have to, there's certain things around us to do that. But I've made so many changes in my life to be able to get me to sit in this chair today. And that takes time, but that was all about, I didn't want to be anybody else. My ambition was to help others. It wasn't to be, I don't know, and I know him, he's a lovely fella, Tony Stockwell, um, or Martin Colclough. You know, all of these amazing spiritual people who, you know, teach at colleges around the world. Lynn Probert, another wonderful lady, Simone Key. You know, they're all their own individual spiritual mediums, mediumistic people. And I never, I never set out to be them or anything else. I set out to be Julian Jenkins on his path. To be Julian Jenkins is my aim, my main goal. To have my idiosyncrasies, have my nuances, have my, my, my me. 
So today, before we go into the meditation, and Monday's obviously a very powerful day in 60 days, is, is a special milestone. It's to appreciate you. It's to appreciate your skill set, your light, your abilities. And you may be sitting there thinking, well, what abilities have I got? Well, if you sat here for 60 days, dedication is one of them. Um, but, you know, we've all got to have our own skin in the game. And, and that's important. So, you know, let's really start to think about us and me and you and how we can really make the changes necessary to ensure that we become our best selves and not trying to be better for ourselves to be somebody else. I say it quite a lot, you know, a lot of people say to me, yeah, well, you know, I've been doing this course, now I've been doing this and I've been doing that and, and Mary down the road, she's much better than me and she started the same time as me. You can't be Mary. Mary's taken. Be yourself. And does it really matter that Mary may be slightly better than Julian? Not to me, it doesn't. It shouldn't to you either. As I sit here now, I see the sunlight just starting to beam through the window. And I can appreciate it. Because I know that sunlight is there for me, for me to grow. For my plants to grow. For my garden to grow. You know, the tree next to me isn't worried about the tree down the road, is it? It just grows. And that's what I want you to do. So today's a little bit of a longer talk, but it's about you growing. You don't need to have envy in your life. You just need to celebrate others because you know that they're trying their best to grow in their own way and for you to grow in your own way, like I've grown in mine. So let's go into a meditation where we're going to reduce envy and celebrate others on this beautifully sunny day 60 of the Mindfulness Challenge. I'm going to pop a picture up and just get comfortable. Find a location and a space where you can sit where you're not going to be disturbed. And importantly, just sit there and just place your feet on the floor and adjust your position and your posture until your body... Well, your body feels alert, but you feel comfortable at the same time. Sort of, We've said this a few times now, but with your eyes closed, just lengthen your spine as if it's an, an antenna of awareness. And just as you do that, lift your heart as if you're offering it up as a gift. Lift your shoulders, your chest, and lift your heart. And again, you know, over the period, you're going to hear my voice followed by period, periods of silence. And in that silence, continue to offer your good wishes. And take a few slow, deep breaths and bring in your awareness to each as it rises and as it falls. And set an intention for this session. Perhaps it's to reduce envy, to learn to celebrate the success of yourself, but also the success of others. Good events, large and small, are abundant in other people's lives. And all you need to do is just to awaken to them and to yourself. And all the way throughout this session, I just want you to bring your awareness to your heart region. And notice how your practice affects your body and even in your face. Know that the sentiments and sensations you create are more important than the words themselves. Visualise someone who is experiencing good fortune. It could be a big event like a healthy newborn or promotion at work or, or a small one like enjoying a run or a sense of ease as the day unfolds. But absorb the scope of this person's good fortune. All events, good and bad, fade with time and all people yearn to be happy. But right now, for this person that the universe wish, wish that the universe and everything within it is coming true. And wish, a classic wish for this person from your heart. And may your happiness and your good fortune continue as well.
and repeat a wish for somebody over and over again with each breath you take and let it infuse and soften your heart and your face. Visualise yourself supporting this person, celebrating this new good fortune and coaxing his or her happiness to linger just a little bit longer. And importantly, may your good fortune continue. And as your practice deepens, you find out new ways to soften and expand your heart's capacity. And consider the good fortunes of people you don't even know, but may your happiness continue. Though, though you're, you can't make good fortune happen or last forever, but you can condition your heart to appreciate other people's blessings and to open to them. Loving kindness and compassion are fundamental core principles of living spiritually. And having this moment to breathe in and appreciate the skills and the abilities of someone around you. And breathing and appreciating the skills and abilities of yours. And the things that you've done over your life that can be celebrated. And think of somebody else who's done lots of things in their lives that can be celebrated. And you can celebrate with them. Because you know you're on your true path. And your way is your way. And you just need to be yourself. And understanding that the definition of success is being as good as you can be with an open heart, full of compassion, full of love and full of empathy. And allow your heart to be open and appreciate even who you thought may have been your competitor, may have been your nemesis. Have a look what they've done over the last weeks and months and celebrate their success in your mind to allow you to know that they're on their journey as you are on yours. And just bring your awareness now to your heart and your gifts and your love. And allow this heart to fill with the love and the compassion and the empathy and the divine energy to allow you today to celebrate everything that you've done in your life, good or bad. Celebrate situations that have arisen in your life, good or bad. And knowing that on every breath in, we breathe in love and compassion and we breathe out envy. Knowing that the changes you can make during this time will allow you to be your true self with love, clarity and purpose. Just breathing in and breathing out. Feel the love just bursting in your heart for yourself and for others. And enjoy the ability to have the gift to celebrate people's good fortune in a way of never tainting it with the words, I wish that could be me. Why are they so lucky? Why is it never me? Why is it always someone else? Those words don't serve any of us. And today, I want you to take those words and I want you to wrap it up into a ball and throw it as far as you can. And you'll see them disappear on the horizon and never 
to enter your mind, your mouth or your thoughts ever again. We can celebrate everybody's own personal success with true empathy because we understand what it takes to be able to live that happy, balanced, healthy spiritual life with clarity and purpose. And we all need luck along the way. We all need sometimes to turn right and find the answers, the solutions or the people. But what really gets you there is determination, is passion and love. Breathing in, love, breathing out, envy. And as always from this day forward, you'll be able to hold yourself with the highest regard of celebration. But importantly today, you will also be able to hold the awareness of others around you and to be able to celebrate in their success as well. without any comparison, without any expectation, and know that you are here to fulfill your dreams, your purpose, and your life, not anybody else's. Breathing in and breathing out. And when you're ready, slowly Open your eyes and wiggle your fingers and come back into the room. That's a powerful meditation because what it's doing is it's cajoling you into even opening up the space of compassion and love and celebration for somebody who may be in your industry, who may be a competitor, who may be a love rival, whoever it is. But just to be able to celebrate their success as much as you can celebrate yours and not feel that envy about Oh, why does it always happen to them? I wish it was me, but we all do it. Don't. Celebrate your life. Enhance your skills. Learn, grow, and transform. We all have that ability. 60 days in, you've transformed already. But we always now want to be the next person. You know, I've been doing mindfulness now for 60 days. I'd like to be Eckhart Tolle. I wouldn't actually. I want to be Julian Jenkins because I do it in my way and and these are the gifts that I've been given. So enjoy day 60. It's a big milestone. Congratulations, well done. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow in day 61. Good morning, Julian, I love you. We're going to say good night, Julian, I love you as well now. And also, make sure that you be love and you give love. Take care, see you soon. Bye-bye.